channel today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I strobe this trend has been so popular here on YouTube so I thought I'll give my intake on how I will be if I was to strobe this is how I would do it today's highlight is a little well let's be honest it's not a little it's a very extreme highlight um, it's definitely not for something for every day I did do a little contour too just because that's what I prefer but Solely this video is going to just show you guys how I would typically um, pile a few of my favorite highlighters on top of each other using cream as well as powder. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like I said, this trend has been so popular and I just want to give you guys my take on how I will be, how I strove. So hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye. So starting off, I'm using Luna from MAC, which is a cream color base, and I'm putting down the highest point of my cheek. I started with a brush, and I noticed that it wasn't applying on as well as I wanted, so I went in with my finger just to melt the product in. Luna is a gorgeous pearly white. Usually that's all you need, but in this case, I wanted to use it as my base before my other highlighter. So you guys probably don't know this, but I have a very flat nose and I always like to focus my highlight on the bridge of the nose. This will give an illusion of a higher nose bridge, which helps me out. I'm also going to put a little on the tip of the nose. This is going to give the illusion of a lifted nose. I'm still using my fingers to apply just because it's easily blendable with just your finger. I'm also going to focus this on my cupid's bow. This is going to give the illusion of a fuller top lip. With a MAC 242 brush, I'm picking up a little bit more of that Luna and focusing that precisely on the cupid's bow to define it a little bit better. I'm also putting a little on the chin because with highlighting, it's all about balancing and how the natural sun would normally hit the face. So for the powder portion, I will be using two highlighters from Becca Cosmetics, Champagne Pop and Moonstone. No surprises there. Becca is rated my top favorite highlighters out there. And as you guys can see, I'm using my MAC 130 brush to apply this product. I'm starting off with Champagne Pop just on the center of the nose. And then working that also on the chin. We're also repeating that on the top of the cheek. This is still Champagne Pop. Next, with MAC 224 brush and Moonstone, I'm grabbing a little of the highlighter and applying a small amount above the brow just to complete the whole highlighted look. You can see here that the 224 is a smaller precise brush to help control application. I'm also dusting a little on the tip of the nose and, of course, more on the cupid's bow. <laughs> and to make sure our highlighter is pure radiance, I'm going in with a little MAC Fix Plus. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and my strobing technique. It's just extreme highlighting. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!